uh, you haven't done so already, turn off your cell phones, okay? And if you want to call somebody first and tell them you're at Mass so don't bother you, that would be a good idea. And then we're going to say the prayers, and I understand that I'm saying this, is if I'm talking to a whole church full of kids, well, I don't see any kids in the church, but you're watching at home, and so are a lot of other kids. And so let's pay attention to this. Ready? Stand up if you're not already standing up. And let's start. In the name of the, and of the, and of the, the Lord be with you. Let's get ready to celebrate the Mass by first asking God to forgive our sins. Repeat after me. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I'm going to make a wish. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Everybody say amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Lord, perseverance in obeying your will. What's perseverance? That means you never give up. That's a good idea. Perso perseverance in obeying your will, God, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, say amen. Amen. Now, if you've got a place to sit down, sit down. And Miss Barrett's going to read from a screwy book of the Bible. It's called the Book of Numbers. But it's not about, it's not about numbers. It's not about arithmetic or math. What it's about is about how God heard some people who didn't do what they were supposed to do, and they said they were sorry. And he gave them another chance. Boy, I hope he does that for us, too. So listen to what Miss Barrett reads, and I'll be back in a minute. A reading from the Book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. In the day when I call, answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory. When he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Thanks for doing those readings. Now, 
Everybody stand up and let's get ready to hear the gospel. We don't say alleluia during Lent. So say this one. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I'm going away, and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he's not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I'm going, you cannot come. He said to them, you belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world. But I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you would die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning. I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true. And what I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, when you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because Jesus spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Have a seat if you're not sitting. So when I finish Mass tonight, I'm going to say goodbye to somebody we're familiar with. And then tomorrow when I wake up, I'm going to say hello to somebody else. And so are you. The one I'm going to say goodbye to... He's been with us for 31 days. His name is March. He's one of the months of the year, March. And he's been tough. Now, during the whole of March, we were saying the prayers of Lent. That's good. And there's a lot of good things that happened in March. The sun came up every day. I got to eat something every day. I got to sleep every day. I got to laugh every day. I got to talk to friends, not face to face, at least on the phone, or at least in a text or in an email. I don't know how to do Twitter. But March had good things. Oh, but March was ugly. Ugh. March had a, March has been like no other month I ever lived. You know what I did last night? I went on the computer and I figured out how many months old I am. I know how many years old I am, but you know how many months old I am? 822. <laughs> I'm 822 months old. That means I've seen 822 months, and I've seen 68 or 69 of them whose name is March. I never saw one like this. Holy smokers. This one has been a disaster. I mean, we, we can't go outside, we can't play, we can't go to school. No, well, we can't go to school, but I'd like to go to school to be able to see you again. Boy, I, I, March has been ugly. 
Okay, I get to say goodbye to him. Now, some people say, well, you know, he's not for real. He didn't exist. No, he did exist. He did. But I think I'm going to say goodbye to him, and I'm going to say, March, when I say goodbye to you, send your brother, March of 2021, but see if he can be a lot prettier than you were, please. Then I'll wake up tomorrow, and I'll meet a new friend, April. Now, I've met Aprils before, you know, and you know, this one's going to be like every other April I've ever lived, or most other Aprils anyway, had Easter in the middle of them. Easter's going to be in the middle of April. Well, you know what, though? We found out already we can't go to church on Easter, that still things are going to be closed up. Oh, no. But that doesn't mean we cancel Easter. No. We still have Easter. And we still have Easter with the people who believe in Jesus just like we do. And that he's risen from the dead and he's with us right now. That's not going to change. But I got some prayers for Easter. I got some prayers for April. I hope that all through April that I wake up every day. (laughs) I hope I get to eat every day. I hope I get to pray every day. That would be smart. I hope I get to see people I loved And I hope I get to say thanks be to God for the gift that is the month of April. Can you do that too? Can you say thanks be to God for a new friend we're going to meet tomorrow? I'll promise you this. At the end of April, we're going to know Jesus better than we know him right now. Because April is a friend of Jesus. I can't promise a lot of other things because... Boy, I couldn't promise things about March that turned out to be true. But I hope April smiles at us. And I hope we've got a reason to celebrate the Mass like this again when I can see your face and I can see your smile. Let's say thanks be to God for a friend we're saying goodbye to, March. But let's say thanks be to Jesus for our new friend and let's make him something special April now stand up and after each of these prayers everybody say Lord hear our prayer we pray for the people of God everywhere especially those here at Saints Joseph and Francis Xavier Church we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer Let's pray for all the school families, the parents, the children, everybody who's a part of your house. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for people who are sick, especially those who are sick with the virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for anybody who died. Think of people you know, but think of those you don't know too, especially those who are very lonely. Let's pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I got an idea. Let's pray for people who make decisions for all of us. You know, people like the president and the governor and the mayor of Chicago and all the people in Wilmette and around here. Let's pray for... Cardinal Supich and the people who help him. Let's pray for Father Wayne. He's our pastor and the people who help him. Let's pray for Miss Barrett and all those who take care of the school. You got them all in your mind? Okay, for them, the people who make decisions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray, we prayed for them already, but let's pray again for your parents because they got their hands full with all kinds of things they never had to deal with before. Let's pray for your parents. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now put a prayer in your own mind, your own personal prayer. Put it in your head. For that, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
God our Father, hear these prayers and hear all the prayers that we say today and for the rest of Lent and all during April. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and our God, amen. Time for me to go to the altar now and finish up the prayers of the Mass. Did I ever show you my chalice before? The kids in the school might have seen it from a long ways away, but this, my mom and dad gave this to me when I was a baby priest. Well, I've had this a long time. I got wine in there already. Let me pour the water. I'm going to lift up the, the host, the bread. I'm going to offer that up. And I'm going to lift up the water and wine. I stand in Jesus' place when I say Mass. So I have to wash my hands with water. I said a prayer. Later on, I'm going to wash them with some soap so that I keep clean like you're supposed to keep clean too. Now... Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation. That means making things right again. That being moved to compassion, that means thinking of somebody else first. You may both pardon our sins and direct our wavering hearts. Through Christ our Lord, everybody say amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. If you're in a place where it's not too uncomfortable to kneel down, kneel down right now while I say this prayer for all of us. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. That's the body and blood of Jesus. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. 
That's the body and blood of Jesus. The mystery of faith. Repeat after me. Save us. Save us. Savior of the world. Savior of the world. For by your cross, for by your cross and resurrection, and resurrection, you have set us free. You have set us free. You are the Savior of the world. You are the Savior of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis, Cardinal Supich, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and everybody who's died in your mercy. Welcome those people into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with St. Francis Xavier, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever say amen. Amen. Now, at the Savior's command, informed by the word of God, we say a prayer that everybody knows. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait in blessed hope, the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Now, I'm going to receive communion. You know what's been nuts about March? It's been a half a month since most of you were able to taste the body and blood of Christ. I don't like that. I've been doing it for you, and so have the other priests. But boy, I wish you could taste it. I mean, some of you aren't old enough yet, but those of you that are old enough, you might not have ever gone this long without going to communion. I don't like that. I want to say a prayer that in April you get to taste Jesus again. You get to taste heaven again. That's my prayer.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You know who I saw when I went to communion? I saw you. Who are you talking to, Monsignor? I'm talking to you. I saw you. You're going to get to receive communion again. You will. Now, let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts. Through Christ our Lord, everybody say amen. The Lord be with you. May almighty God bless you, make the cross, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now go wash your hands. And stay away from each other. Don't get real close. And do everything else you're supposed to do. And then go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks for praying with me.